Feds indict Aryan Brotherhood prison gang members on murder, drug, and other charges. Sacramento, California. Federal officials, 16 defendants, including 9 inmates, were named in a criminal complaint alleging federal racketeering, murder, drug trafficking and other charges stemming from a five-year investigation into extensive, organized criminal activity inside California's most secure prisons, according to the U.S. Department of Justice. Authorities say that two of the inmates, Ronald Yandel, 56, and Daniel Danny Troxell, 66, are well-known members of the Aryan Brotherhood Commission, a three-man council that runs the white supremacist organization. What? In a 143-page criminal complaint, the U.S. Attorney's Office said a 2015 legal settlement allowed inmates like Yandel to be moved from solitary confinement at Pelican Bay State Prison's Security Housing Unit and into less. The complaint also charges inmates William Sylvester, 51. Travis Burhop, when the investigation began, Yandel, Troxel, Sylvester, Burhop, Torres and Corbett were all serving life sentences for murder. Five other individuals were also arrested as part of the investigation and authorities are actively searching for two others. Those arrested were federal wiretaps allowed authorities to intercept hundreds of phone calls and text messages to map out the gang's hierarchy and record its actions in a large-scale sting operation. In some instances, prosecutors allege that members of the gang conspired to commit five murders and had planned four others. Of the five homicides, authorities say Yandel and Sylvester, cellmates at Folsom Prison since 2015, oversaw a large heroin and methamphetamine trafficking operation. Along with Burha, some of the phones that the gangs used to commit crimes were allegedly smuggled into the prison by McNamara, an Orange County lawyer who met with an inmate in an area protected by attorney-client privilege, Scott said. Family members in, in one instance, Scott said, police surveilled a phone call in which Yandel arranged for cell phones, batteries, chargers, and mini hacksaw blades to be smuggled into Folsom Prison inside Little Debbie Snacks. He told an associate, as part of the investigation, authorities seized large amounts of drugs, a cache of weapons from a house in Manhattan Beach and a Sacramento home, which officials believe was purchased with drug proceeds and used as a stash house. Chris Nielsen, a Drug Enforcement Administration special agent, said the investigation reveals that, contrary to public belief, criminal activity isn't necessarily thwarted when inmates are behind bars. This. If convicted, the inmates could face the death penalty, he said. The Aryan Brotherhood was founded in California's San Quentin State Prison in the 1960s and has grown into one of the country's most feared and well-known white supremacist prison gangs. The group's membership, although the group is nearly synonymous with white supremacist and neo-Nazi culture members often sport tattoos of swastikas or the runic insignia of Hitler's SS many experts say it is driven by the potential for profit through drug trafficking more than its racist ideology. The group has also win. They. The group expanded across the country around 1975, after some of its high-ranking members were sent to federal prison, according to the SPLC. Also known as the, the California chapter of the gang is distinct from the Texas arm, Mendelssohn said. Prison restructure Some of those named in Thursday's indictment are familiar figures in white supremacist circles. Yandel has long, although the Aryan Brotherhood differs from a white nationalist movement that has enjoyed growth across the U.S. in recent years, members of violent racist street gangs in California still see membership in the infamous prison organization as a badge of honor. They Visit the Los Angeles Times at